Hello everyone. Today we will learn how to maintain the source control of uh, Dynamic 365 solution uh, with Azure DevOps. So for that we need to have uh, Azure DevOps. Uh, you are seeing this screen, uh, this organization. There uh, I was created uh, one project. Opening this project you will see this kind of uh, panel in the left side. Uh, overview, summary and uh, dashboards, boards and uh, repos and pipeline for that uh, we need to have a pipeline we are going to create under here by clicking this button pipeline click on this new pipeline click on this classic editor this is my project this is the repository uh, for this project and I'm putting it to the master continue click on the empty project there you will get this uh, screen we need to develop the one uh, CI CD pipeline to get our Dynamics 365 solution into repository which is a repo here first I will give the name we'll click on save first and foremost thing is click on here just select allow scripts to access the oath authentication then come back and uh, click here the place symbol to add the task to this uh, pipeline just click on this place button search for uh, power platform going to get this uh, power uh, platform build tools Previously, it was Power Apps Build Tools. Recent update is was, uh, it was deprecated, and uh, Microsoft added this one latest. We need to install this uh, Power Platform Build Tools into on our organization, which is Spega Technology. In my case, so I'm clicking this Get It Free. It will take you the different screen. Get It Free. Yeah, it will taking to the Visual Studio Marketplace. So yes, I am about to in install into my organization. Just click on install. Yeah, proceed to organization. Yeah, it was installed. Yeah, come here and uh, refresh. You will see, you know, lot of tasks. So first, we'll add. Uh, PowerShell. Yeah, I added this PowerShell script. Putting our solution into repos, we need to maintain the when was happened and who did that uh, solution into the repository. So to maintain that, need one script. So that's inline script. So I will add the script over here. So this is the script I uh, need to add to maintain the solution when it was committed into the repos. And next save, add a power platform tool installer. It will take care of everything in the pipeline. See, uh, next save, click on the place one. The next step export our solution from the Dynamics 365 export a solution just click on add so it's asking some settings need to be done here it is it's asking service connection which means the solution from where uh, you're exporting just click on it so actually uh, in my organization is it's already created so select this one uh, otherwise uh, click on manage so it will take you the here so if you want to create a new connection just go back new connection select the generic it's asking server URL it is uh, your dynamic CRM URL username school account and password some of the details and the connection name then you will able to see the save button and just click on save you will see the connection over here so let's get back to our uh, pipeline so I selected here here is uh, asking the solution name so I will create the
variable over here just come over here a variable add one variable so here it is my uh, solution was created in this uh, dynamics so I am opening this uh, solution these are the entities which are in my existing solution so let it be so I need to give the solution name in the pipeline so this name uh, I need to give so just I am copying over here just add this name to the value let's come back to our tasks the solution name uh, would be like uh, so it's asking solution output file which means where you want to uh, export the solution into this is the location uh, this is the output location for uh, solution to so click on the save and let's add uh, another one uh, which is uh, unpack solution click on plus click on plus search for solution unpack power platform solution unpack click on add it is also asking some settings need to be done so what is the directory which you exported your solution it's the same directory for the solution unpack so let's copy that directory to add this input it's asking a uh, target folder to unpack the solution so I'm adding the target folder this is the root directory uh, this is the solution name with the solution name uh, it will create the folder in the root directory and uh, let's save this file and uh, click on this one click on place search for uh, command line so it helps to commit our changes into the repository so for that uh, we need to have some script I will add that script so this is the script for to commit our changes into the repository so it's asking us uh, the user ID which which one uh, who performing this commit and the username so it's the date uh, which data uh, we are committing this repository so let's save this one so this this one is our pipeline got uh, created to get our solution from the dynamics 365 to push into a repository as an unpacked solution let's see in the repository I don't have any uh, solution in my repository so I will run this pipeline click on this run pipeline so the pipeline is running checking out the from uh, project the power platform tool installer in installing everything to perform other tasks related to the power platform task which we are added which are exported solution and then pack solutions it's exporting the solution
packages the solution got exported and they are unpacking as well so yeah pipeline got successful so let's see in our uh, repository the folder got created or not yeah here the folder got created with the name of uh, the solution so let's expand this solution so these are the entities which I have in my solution so why that's how so last changes just now because I run the first time so it's showing uh, yeah this is how the solution exporting from dynamic 365 and uh, putting into the repository as a unbox solution that's it for now we'll see you in the next video thanks for watching